Uh, hi. I'm just testing technology. We're starting at one o'clock. Hi, you guys. Here I am in my little home doing my very first Streamily. What a cool concept, right? I mean, we've all lived through this crazy pandemic, but there are some good things that came out of it. I really miss seeing people at the Comic Cons. And, um, and so this is just a really wonderful way to be able to do this and to get people the characters and the autographs that they like. So I've got myself all set up here. Do you wanna see my setup? First of all, shameless plugging. Look at Disney Princess, the concert. Yeah, that's the show I'm doing right now. Producing as well as I'm also in it with um, uh, three, four other really amazing Broadway stars. So check that out. But look at what I've got going here. Look at, I've got all the things set up on chairs in my dining room. All right, let's see if I can get this set back up again. There we go. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and get started, you guys. Okay, let's see. Hi. Hi, Amy Latcha. Love seeing you at Princess in Riyadh. Oh my gosh. Yes. I was just talking about we made our debut in Saudi Arabia. What a joy. Um, those dresses, right? By Abed Mahfouz. Amazing. Uh, hi, Craig. Oh, thank you guys so much for these beautiful, beautiful comments. Okay, so I'm gonna do one thing first. So these are my regular glasses. I'm gonna put on some special readers. I may switch back and forth. Look at, see, they have Belle and they have the rose. These are my readers for autographing. Okay, Streamly is amazing. They have this whole thing set up. And so I'm gonna start very first with this picture for Victoria. Victoria, who says, please put your favorite quote. I've got it down, Victoria. It's been a real slice. You gotta write that one on this picture because this hand motion, I actually did that in my audition and then they used it in the movie. How cool is that? Okay, so Victoria, I'm supposed to put number seven on the back so that they know to send it to you. So that's what I'm doing. It. Thank you so much, Victoria. I hope you like it. Let's see, oh, I don't have a touchscreen computer. Okay, oh my goodness, this one is for Joseph and it's actually, I don't say this about everything, it's my favorite Rose picture. It's this one right here, cause she's singing. I got to sing one song on that show and that was amazing. Okay, he says, Missy, I'm a big fan of your role, Studio Ghibli, oh, thank you, Hercules, Steven Universe. Like to sign either with a lyric from What Can I Do For You or Rose's quote, I love humans, you're all so funny. That's so funny that you say that quote because that's what I usually put here. Or I put, what can I do for you? You're giving me a choice here. So Joseph, I'm gonna put, I love humans. You're all so funny. And I happen to agree with that. Hmm. And you are number 33. There you go, Joseph. That one's just for you. Amazing, thank you so much. All right. Oh, now this one, I'm really happy that somebody chose this picture. Do you guys even know this movie? It's Studio Ghibli and it's Porco Rosso. Um, Miyazaki has this sort of obsession with pigs. His words, not mine. He says all men are pigs. In this case, they, he actually is. Porco is a pig. Um, and um, in this movie, I got to play Gina, who I love because she's a businesswoman, like I am. Um, she's a producer. She's got her own club. She also sings. So there you go. And she's got a nice little bobbed hairdo. So. I feel like I connect with her. <gasps> okay, this one is for Mercedes. Mm. It's the classic Meg. There you go. No special instructions, so Mercedes, I'm gonna go ahead.
it's funny because like you read these scripts and you record these movies and you don't really know like what's gonna catch on but that phrase definitely did there you go mercedes that's for you and you are 44. i did um i picked all my favorite pens so i'm all ready for everybody any questions here oh is that a request meg is also my favorite oh that's cool i'm so glad okay i'm gonna read back some of these Oh my goodness, your model friend based her hand pose on the Meg. I think that's hilarious. Oh, happy to see you live. Thank you so much. Hot fan forever. Oh, you guys are sweet. Hi, Erin from Vermont. Hi, everybody. Okay, I'm gonna keep going because if I stop to read everything, you guys are gonna have to hang out for too long. Okay, this next one is my holiday CD but I'm going to have to tear off the cellophane, so. Gone. Cellophane. Going away. And this is for Becky. Oh, Becky. I hope you enjoy this. Let me try and get this sticker off. All right, Becky. Okay, the holidays are coming up. Becky signed it for you. And for extra measure, just for you, because you've got a CD. I'm signing the CD too. Because things get separated, right? That way, you've got it both places. And this is going to be 49, but I'm not gonna write it on the thing. I'm gonna put a little sticky note. 49. And tape it for good measure. So many things. All right, Jen picked the classic bell, the blue dress. Oh, Jen, you're a huge Disney fan. Beauty and the Beast was your first Broadway show. It was my first Broadway show, too. <laughs> I'm also reading. Oh, you're a reading teacher. So include a positive message to my students about reading. Oh, Jen, that's so beautiful. Okay, I think I want to do... I'm going to try this white pen. If it doesn't work, then I'll try it again. Okay, I'm being quiet for so long because I don't wanna mess it up. Okay, I used a paint pen. This one says, love to Jen and her students. Reading holds so many adventures. Love, Susan. And isn't that the truth? I'm a voracious reader. What are you guys reading right now? Put it in the notes here. I'm actually reading Ronan Farrow's book, um, uh, War on Peace, not War and Peace, the war on peace. It's about the fall of diplomacy in the United States. Um, isn't that fascinating on our stream <laughs> live right now? But that's what I'm reading and I love it. I think Ronan Farrow is a great writer. Okay, so this is number 50. I'm gonna put it right there and she's gonna dry. Jen, thank you so much. I hope your, your students are inspired. <gasps> Jenna, Jenna got a pop doll. Okay. I do pop dolls with special pink paint pens. Let's see. Please sign the plastic window. Thank you so much, Jenna. Okay. 
Okay. Love it. Jenna, it's been a real slice. There you go. And look at, I'm not gonna write the number on the box. I taped a little post-it. So I'm gonna put number 60, your number 60, Jenna. 60. And then I'm gonna put her over here where she's nice and protected. Done. Oh, also for Jenna, you did a twofer. Look it, here she is. Sign the picture on the upper left corner with a silver white pen. Yes, I can do that because I have a white pen right here. Jenna. There you go, Jenna. Ah! I won't say I'm in love, except that you do. You gotta, you gotta say it sometimes. I think 68, there we go. Alrighty. Thank you so much, Jenna. Drathius, okay, the bell picture. This one, loved you as bell. Could you please write the lines? Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to write small. I want much more than this provincial life, and I want adventure in the great white somewhere. I want it more than I can tell. If you can manage to fit the lights on the right side in a black pen, that would be wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay, drain the I love it. The challenge, gonna do it. Here we go. Okay. I want much more than this provincial life. Much more than this provincial life. And then I want adventure in the great white somewhere. I want adventure in the great white somewhere. I want it more than I can tell. I did it. It was a novel. It was several lyrics. There you go. I want adventure in the great white somewhere. Everybody sing along. I want it more than I can tell. Susan, what do your daughters think of Spirited Away? Actually, that's one of their favorite movies that I've done. Yes. Um, that is like the only one that they've watched more than a couple times. Uh, Isla, in particular, my youngest, really, really loves Dorothea's You're Most Welcome. Um, my little one, Isla, really loves anime. It's funny, people ask all the time, like, do my kids sing and dance? Are they gonna follow in my footsteps? And my husband also works in entertainment. And the answer we're very happy to say is no, they don't really want to do that. Although they both dabble just in school, you know, plays and stuff like that. They have a good time. But, but Isla and Nina too, actually, they're both really great visual artists. Um, and they get that from both sides of the family, but not from Robert or myself, but our extended family, we have a lot of artists. So um, anyway, Isla really loves anime. She loves drawing in anime style. And so, yeah, she really likes Spirited Away. Okay, next one, here we go. No special instructions. I don't know who this is for, but I really liked how that white pen turned out, so I'm gonna do it. I won't say I'm in love. Love, Susan. That seems counterintuitive. <laughs> but what are you gonna do? I'm an actor. I don't always make sense. Okay. Thank you for that one. Here we are, back to Rose. Ah, oh, okay, Hallie. Hallie chose this one. You know how I feel about this one. Hallie says, I found myself through Rose Quartz, through your performance. Thank you for breathing so much life into this beautiful character. Okay, I love this character too. And 
spoiler alert, you learn a lot about her through the series and she's not always what she seems. And some people didn't like that part, but what I loved was that she's so complicated. And that is definitely Rebecca Sugar is a genius. She's the showrunner, the creator, the writer, producer of um, Steven Universe. And I love how complicated all these characters are. And I think that's what makes them so relatable. Um, so Hallie, this is for you. And this is one of Rose's lines. Um, I wrote, this is for you, Hallie. Hallie, you are something extraordinary. <gasps> if you know, you know. <laughs> 76 on the back. There you go, Hallie. Thank you so much. Okay, another Meg. <gasps> Here we go. Could you please write, at least out loud, I won't say I'm in love. I appreciate it. Thank you. I don't know who it's to, so I'm just going to write that. I won't say I'm in love. There you go. <gasps> okay, I'm so loving the white pen on this thing. <laughs> this is number 80 on the back. Not eight, 80. 80. There you go. <gasps> All righty. Let's see here. Oh, another Meg doll for Saeed. Woohoo! No special instructions. So I'm going to go with my, my favorite, which is the pink pen. It's been a real slice. I know, I do it over and over, but honestly, I love the sass. There you go, Saeed, it's just for you. <laughs> You're going over here. Oh, I have to write number 81. These are not necessarily in order because I haven't done 80 of these yet. They're all out of order. But those happen to be 80 and 81 in order, so go figure. Okay, Meredith, 84, all right. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Um, have Robert and my daughters met Jason Marsden? No, I've never met Jason Marsden. Hmm, how cool, you just signed them back eight by 10 for me. Oh, I'm so glad, yes, yes, yes. Okay, for Meredith, spoiler alert, kids. This is the one she got, if you know, you know. I'm so happy you're signing Prince Live. If you don't mind, could you write one of Pink Diamond's lines and one of Rose's lines? Thank you so much. Yes, I can absolutely do that. I'm gonna write them separate. I am not a multitasker, so I'm doing it. Okay. All right, here we go. Meredith, I gotta write your name on there. Okay. Meredith, it's for you, love to Meredith. And then I wrote, no one must know, because, you know, no one must. And then you are a something extraordinary. Yeah, I hope you like it. Are you guys seeing this backwards like I'm seeing it? I don't really understand technology. So, I'm wondering if you can actually read these. You can screenshot and then reverse it in post, right? I don't know how all of this works. I can't believe I'm even here and I figured this much out. Thank you guys for coming. 
Um, hi, Elena, how are you? It's good to see you here. Uh, oh, oh, Meredith, it's another one. Okay, this is my other favorite. Could you please write another of Rose's lines? Oh, yes, I can write another one. Okay, so this is my other favorite because, oh my gosh, isn't Steven so cute? I can't even stand it. Okay, Meredith, here you go. I love this quote. Humans are so funny. And then I put another quote in there with this one. <gasps> Take care of them, Meredith. I know you will. Okay, 85. <gasps> Meredith went all out on the Steven of the universe. Brianna, okay, Brianna did something cool. Brianna got the OG Beauty and the Beast soundtrack, which I want to tell you guys, we recorded on the second day of rehearsal. Okay, only Disney would do that. Now we had done like a month of shows out of town in Houston. This is back before most of you were born in 1993. And then um, we went back into rehearsal in January of 94. Um, and on the second day of rehearsal, we recorded this cast album. And let me tell you something, there are wrong lyrics all over this cast album because things changed. You know, you go into previews and then they rewrite songs, um, including my song Home it has another verse in it and it's got um, lyrics that were never performed live. And then it was funny, in High School Musical the Musical, the series, they did Home last season and they sang the lyrics from here because nobody looked at the Beauty and the Beast stage script, which never had these lyrics. Now you know. Maybe they looked at those other lyrics and they preferred these. I gotta be honest, I still think of these lyrics and then I always have to correct them in my head. Brianna, no special instructions. Okay, but I'm gonna sign it with the white pen for you. Okay, Brianna, you are a true beauty. Love Susan Egan. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna put this on the back with number 86 with a little piece of tape because welcome to craft hour with Susan Egan. And then I'm gonna let this dry before I put it back in. I hope you like it. Enjoy your listening pleasure. <gasps> Rainin, you picked this one too. This is for you. Rainin, 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 am I pronouncing it correctly? It's a really beautiful name. You are something. I love meeting the people who, um, who connect with Steven Universe. I think it was such a beautiful show about being your true self, about being who you are, how that's really your superpower. Um, and I love hearing the stories of people who really connected with these characters, identified with them. And I'm just so excited that I got to be a small part of that show. Caroline also got a Beauty and the Beast soundtrack. So, Caroline. Oh, it's for my wife. Oh, it's for Caroline. Oh, your wife, Caroline. Okay, she loves musicals and theater. She's so busy with kids, work, running a pop culture convention. What? Um, so never gets to go. I'm um, So I'm always buying CDs to listen to the car. I love it, thanks. Oh, Caroline, okay, this is for you.
It's squeaky. Can you guys hear the squeak? Squeak, 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 squeak. It's like um, Kronk when he's speaking squirrel. 96. All right. Oh, I hope Caroline likes this. I'm so happy that you're going to get to listen to it. There you go. Okay. Karina. The classic bell. No special instructions. I'm going to use the white. Karina. Um, I write this quote because I really believe it. Um, I wrote, Karina, you are a true beauty. I love the people who identify with Belle because um, it's all about, you know, beauty on the inside and how it can impact others. And uh, anybody who connects with this character, every single person I've met who connects with her has that quality, has that just sort of empathy for others. I'm not judging a book by its cover. And so anyway, Karina, I hope you like this. Karina, you're number three. You were the third person to order. Hey, I love it. Thanks. All right, Sadie and Pip, they want Meg. Please sign the tree trunk. That's over here. I will definitely sign the tree trunk. It's the only place to sign, in my opinion. Sadie and Pip, it's been a real slice. Even though I'm wearing bell glasses. The sentiment holds. I bet Belle would say that, given the right circumstance. She had sarcasm in her, in her dealings with Gaston, do we think? Belle is my all-time favorite character like ever. Oh, who is that from? Yes. Oh, from Daisy. I believe there's a photograph for Aaron in the pile for you to sign. Yes, I believe there is. Oh my goodness. Thanks you guys so much for these beautiful comments. <gasps> hey, there's a Nina in there. Nina, you're very excited about the opportunity. I'm so glad. My daughter's name is Nina. She's named after... Um, my husband's grandmother and aunt. Yeah, it's a beautiful name. <gasps> Here we go. Meg, this is for Lex. Lex. Squeaker, squeak, squeakums, squeaker. Lex, I won't say I'm in love. And this is number six. All right, test for you guys. Who voices the character of Kronk in Emperor's New Groove? And go. I've heard you sing Meg's original song. I can't believe my heart. Oh, how long did that exist before I won't say I'm in love? Okay, so there was another song before I won't say I'm in love. It's called I Can't Believe My Heart, and it was a beautiful Alan Menken soaring ballad. We recorded it, they started, um, to answer your question, they started animating to it, and then they realized it totally didn't work because Meg would never in a million years sing a love song. She would be in denial, and that's what I Won't Say I'm In Love is. It's all about denial, and the muse is saying, yeah, we're not buying it, girl. Um, but the original song was, um, I can't believe my heart surrendered when I kissed him. And told me all I thought I knew, as sad but true is wrong. It was a really pretty song. Um, I'm singing it in the wrong key. Uh, but yeah, it didn't sound very Meg. So they were right to change it. But that song is on my Coffee House album, which I have somewhere around here. Somewhere on the floor. Um, yeah, I'm glad that you heard that one. You can, you can hear it on iTunes. Okay, this one, 
Hi, my name is Chris. Oh, I'll be donating this to our charity auction to raise money for St. Jude's. Write a positive um, quote or words of wisdom. That would be awesome. Okay, so I'm not going to personalize it, but I'm going to write, you are something extraordinary. There you go. You are something extraordinary. I hope it raises a million dollars. Do you think it will? Do you think it will raise a million? Well, every little bit helps. So thank you, Chris. I hope that does well for you. Uh, Aaron, you were just writing about this. Yes, yeah, so this one is for Aaron. And I'm gonna use my white pen again. Okay, Erin, I think that white pen, she's the winner, right? There you go. Oh, and your number is 23. Perfection. Thanks so much, Erin. All right, any questions here? Coffee House album, it's great. <laughs> Hello, Julia Evans, how are you? Um, she designed the cover of that album, by the way. She was pretty awesome about it. Uh, I should record a Coffee House album too. Oh, you're really sweet, thank you. There's no albums anymore. It's all like direct to, like I still have hard copies of these CDs, but that doesn't even exist anymore. Uh, I can't believe my heart could be so wise. Yes, that's a good tune. I agree. This one is gonna be for Amy. I'm gonna sign in black. And we know what quote goes with this one. Here you go, Amy. That's the iconic look. That one right there, it's been a real slice. I love it. Okay, 63. 63, it feels like football numbers. All right, Joseph. Okay, Joseph. He went for this one with, with Herc in it, which I really love because look at the way he's looking at her, right? She's all that in a bag of chips. If you could use green, it's my favorite color. If not, that's fine. I can use green. I worry that green is not going to show up very well. What do we think, Joseph? All right, everybody, let's vote. Do I use a green pen on this? I have a green pen, but do I do it? I'm waiting to hear from you guys. Yes, by the way, to answer your question, I will post this whole live later as well. So let's see, anybody? Let's see, white using a white pen. Yeah, I think maybe the white pen or black pen up there. So hard. Yes, green. All right. Well, no white. No. Okay. Use white. You guys can't seem to get it together. So I'm going to do what he asks. I'm going to use green. We're going to see what it looks like. And if it looks barfy, then I'm going to Barfy, that's the valley girl in me. Then I'll sign another one. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's test this one. So this is for Joseph. Joseph, no, look at it. I even just did the J. Look at, doesn't show up. I'm so sorry, my love. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna try black and then we'll see what happens. I'm so sorry, but here's the good news. 
the photo has a lot of green in it. So your, your color scheme lives, but look it. See, black is the way to go. You're my hero, Joseph. I hope that this is okay with you. I'm just looking out for you. All right, there we go. Thank you, Joseph. Colby. <gasps> okay. Is this our very first Spirited Away? I think it might be our first one. Susie Eags, you were like a total valley girl for real. It's like, totally. Like, whatever. That was my era, the 80s. So funny. My kids are obsessed with Stranger Things, and they keep saying, like, how cute the clothes are there. Let me just tell you something. First of all, they do a great job on Stranger Things because I literally wore everything that Eleven is wearing in there. I've worn that. Um, but it wasn't a good look then. Not a good look now. But it's funny that my kids are totally into the 80s. But yes, Valley Girls, that came from there too. Uh, what am I looking forward to about D23? I think seeing my troupe again from Disney Princess, the concert. These girls, um, we're, I'm gonna be performing. We are closing the whole thing out with a performance with Annalisa Vanderpool and Cindy Winters and Isabel McCalla. Is it Izzy was um, a Jasmine on Broadway. Cindy was Nala in The Lion King on Broadway. Annalisa was Broadway's final bell. And of course, Chelsea Daniels on That's So Raven and Raven's Home. And we are doing a really special performance of Disney Princess, the concert where we're doing some songs that are not even in our real concert. Woohoo! Um, and we're being joined, of course, by Benjamin Rahula, our fairy god fairy, and also Adam J. Levy, our very handsome prince. Um, who's going to be taking a few days off from Moulin Rouge, the national tour and the Broadway production, because, you know, he's doing both. That's the way that works. Okay, Colby, no special instructions. So I'm just going to write with white, though. All right. Much love to you, Colby. Love Susan Egan, who played Lynn. There you go. And this should be number 94. Oh, thank you, Colby. Anybody else out there going to D23? <gasps> Angie, I see that you're gonna be there. There's that squeak again. Yeah, it's the white pen. Very squeak delicious. Sarah Rose. Oh, you just mentioned the home change lyrics. So my request is that you sign it saying, you can't solve your problems going back, which is a reference to the lyrics that were cut. Okay, I think that's a better lyric. Dude, somebody called Tim Rice. Yet I know that I can't solve my problems going back. Is this home? And they changed it to, I, and to think I complained of that poor provincial town. I mean, I get it. It's a callback to lyrics from the opening number, but... Yeah, 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 I'm with you on that. <gasps> okay, so Sarah Rose, this is for you. So squeaky on these shiny pictures. Sarah, there you go, Sarah Rose. You can't solve your problems going back and that is for sure true. For sure. Okay, 98, Sarah Rose. That's just for you, sweetness. I hope you like it. <laughs> okay, Said, another one? I love it. Can you write your favorite quote from Hercules? I would really appreciate it. Yes but I wanna look back and make sure I didn't already use this quote for you. So let's see here. Amy, Aaron, Lex, Sadie Pop, Karina, Meredith, Said, I can't remember which one you got. Holly, say Dorothea, there we go. Jenna, Mercedes, Mercedes. 
Joseph, okay. Oh, you got the pop doll, I remember. So I did write that one. So I'm gonna say, I know what I'm gonna do. Mm. What should I do for you? Okay, so when I read the script, this quote made me laugh out loud. Now, people have had to ask me what it means. So let's have a little lesson. First of all, I didn't write, um, it's been a real slice on here, Saeed, because I already put that on your pop doll. So what I wrote here is, you're the greatest thing since they put the pocket in PETA. Love Susan Egan. Now. People, really, do you need an explanation? You're the greatest thing since they put the pocket in pita. That's like the Greek version of you're the greatest thing since sliced bread. Yes, are we all on the same page? Yes, yes? Okay, good, I'm glad. All right, Said. I hope you like it. <laughs> that one makes me laugh. Okay. Lilia, oh, again, I think I love this one so much because I am a mom and so getting to voice Rose was really the first mom character I ever got to voice and she's just, she's inside Steven's head right here. So she's sort of the ideal mom right now. Lilia, this for you. You are something extraordinary. There you go, Lilia. I hope you like it. This, oh, Lilia, you're literally number one. Number one, number one. Everybody, everybody agrees. Yep, you're number one. I hope you enjoy. Jason wants this one. If you want to add your favorite rose pink quote, I just love many of your characters. It was hard to choose one design, but Rose holds a special place in my heart. I love you so much. Hopefully one day we can meet in person. Jason, oh, I'm so glad. Okay, yes, I am going to. Um. I know I've written this one before to other folks, but I just love it so much. These are the words that inspired Stephen, you know? Rose looks right into the camera, she's like, you are something extraordinary. You are a human being. So I like writing that. So Joseph, that's for you. You are something extraordinary. And thank you so much for liking all the characters, but yeah, I have a special place in my heart for for Rose as well. You're number two. All right, let's see Annie. This is for you, Annie. Okay, get ready for the squeaks. I won't say you no, no. I want everybody at home to do the riff. Did y'all do it? Um, I've never felt so square as the day that I had to record that because everybody was there. Lilius, LaShawn, Cheryl, like all the muses, Roz, um, Venisi, and, and Alan Macon and the directors. And Alan's like, so just riff something at the end, Susan. And um, I'm like, uh, I'm square white. I'm not really good at the riffing thing. And Alan was embarrassed for me, as he should be. And he came in the studio and he plunked it out on the piano. Boo do 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 do. Boo do 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 do. Um, and Lilius was like, "It's okay, girl. Everyone's got soul somewhere inside them." <laughs> and I recorded that. 
a million times, and then I think they comped it together. Now I can do the riff, the riff, but in the moment, put on the spot, not so great. Annie, that was for you. Annie, here you go. That's for you. Okay. Lauren. Oh, I'm reaching. Lauren got this one. That's actually James Barber. Um, he's the, the actor that I did Beauty and the Beast with in Los Angeles after Terrence Mann left. But it's the only color picture that I have. I don't have a color picture of Terry and myself. Lauren, this is for you. Squeakers, squeak, squeakums. Okay, this dress, Lauren, that's for you. This dress was like 40 pounds. She had a life of her own. Um, let's see, this is number eight. And I wanna make sure that I numbered the black, I did, I did, I'm following the instructions. Actors, we take direction. <gasps> Here we go. No special instructions, so I'm gonna write actually a quote from this song. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? There you go. What can I do for you? I can write a number nine on the back. That's what I can do. Thank you, Marina. Oh no, I'm dropping pictures. Marina got the bell blue. Anything to cheer me up on my piano practice would be wonderful. <laughs> I finally let my kids quit piano. It was just too many arguments. They didn't have a passion for it. But Marina, keep going, you can do it. Um, Ah, uh, Marina. Okay. I truly believe this, Marina. It's not a quote from Beauty and the Beast, but music is the soul of adventure. I really believe that. I feel like music is what keeps us dreaming and keeps us going. It inspires us. It's something that crosses every culture and resonates with every person. So keep up that piano work. Don't quit. I could have written that. Don't quit. Except that didn't work for my kids, so I figured it wouldn't work for you either. George! Here we go. It's gonna squeak. George. What do we do without these white pens? I do have a really good gold one too, paint pen. There you go, George. I won't say it, no, no. It's too cliche. I won't say I'm in love. Nope. She's the queen of denial. James wants the same picture. Okay, James has a long instructions. Let's see what he has to say. Susan, I totally understand if you can't do this. Let's see if I can. But please, can you doodle a little lightning bolt and a teacup at the top bottom where you sign to represent Hercules and Beauty and the Beast. No worries if not. All right, I think I can do the lightning bolt. Let's see if I can do a teacup. Let's see here. Yeah, I think I can do a teacup. And let's see if I can do a lightning bolt. Yeah, okay, all right, I'm gonna try this. All right, I'm just gonna do this down here. 
I've never done this before. That's my teacup. It looks terrible. All right. What are we thinking? Thinking this is a terrible idea? Hmm. I don't know what to tell you. That's my teacup. It doesn't have a chip in it, but I'm gonna put a little steam coming out of the teacup. All right, you asked for it. If this looks terrible to you, Joseph James, then I think what you do is you put a little card over that if you frame this at all, and you can just write, signed by Susan Egan, or you can say, she can't draw, because I really can't. But I'm gonna write up here for you. I did practice once over here. It looked better in my other marker. But I hope that this is not so crazy that it ruins the picture. <laughs> All right, you are number 12, James. You, cra you and your crazy requests. All right, any questions here? I should have had Nina and Isla draw it. Okay, thanks, Craig. We know. I actually was thinking the same thing in my hand. It was so funny. Let's see. Will you tell Dovey Chase and the cast members of Gotta Kick, oh, uh, cast members of Gotta Kick, that I'm a fan of Spirited Away and Gotta Kick It Up for me, please? Sure. The next time I run into them, I will surely tell them. What else is going on over here, guys? Love your glasses. Oh, did you come in late? These are my bell glasses. These are my bell readers. Do you get it? Because she's a reader. And I'm so old I can't see without them. So I decided to get bell readers. <laughs> okay, Tom Gonzalez wants a picture of Belle. Oh, I was one of the hairdressers at Beauty of the Beast in LA. Tom, and I was dating Rick Spawns at the time. I have the best picture of Rick wearing this dress. Tom, have you ever seen it? I can't run and because I'm locked in here. I can't run and go get it. He actually asked me to never show it to anybody, but he wanted to try on the yellow dress. He's like six feet tall. He was genuinely surprised that it wouldn't zip up. And I'm like, I'm 100 pounds and 5'2", and you're six feet tall and a guy dancer. Um, but I love Rick Spons and his family and those cookies, right? Tom, it's so great to hear from you. Okay, I have such great memories of all of us hanging out and have a wonderful time together. Now I've got your autograph. Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, Tom, you're the greatest. I'm going to write to you. What a blast from the past. Okay, oh my goodness, Tom. Okay, I hope you're watching because guess what? My spare pens are in my Beauty and the Beast mug from, hold your breath everybody, April 12, 1995. Yikes, 95, look, it's got my name on the back. Look it, Beauty and the Beast. That was at the Schubert back in the day when the Schubert still existed. The theater's not there anymore, the CAA building ate it. Um, but Tom, you guys had such a great hair department and uh, oh my gosh, I'm still in touch with Roger, who I just love. And this says you are a true prince because you are. Mwah, 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 mwah. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful message. Okay, another rose. No special instructions, so I'm going to write... you are something extraordinary because then no matter who gets it they have a positive message there you go number 14 incredible oh second order 
I have this one that Terrence Mann signed for me. I don't know why I didn't get you to sign it at the same time. I think it's when he was leaving the LA company and James was taking over. Oh, well, wait, okay, so, wait, 15. Tom, wait, I'm gonna go back. Back to previous, back to previous. Okay, Tom. Oh, okay, this one, I see. Okay, so now you're, Now you're trying, okay, Tom. Now you wanna do this one, yes? I have this one that Terrence Mann signed for me. Okay, so this is Jim. This is Jim who took over for Terry in LA. Are you okay with that? Hmm. Oh, I'll see you later, those who have to leave. Um. Okay, I'm gonna, let's see. Born in 1994, we lived in Irvine in 95 when you guys played in LA. Oh my gosh, Daisy, I love it. Um, my name is Tim and I love what you do so much and you should be very proud of yourself. Oh, thank you so much, Tim. Okay, Tom, I'm gonna go ahead and sign this for you. Um, but it's not Terry. Terry is, the black and white one is with Terry. But maybe you want the color one, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay, there you go, Tom. Cheers to our tale as old as time. Oh, see what I did there? I hope you like it. Okay. Let's see. Special instructions. Message, if light pen top right in the dark green area of a dark pen in the light yellow area, Thanks for everything, Chris. It's been a real slice, Susan Egan. Okay, thanks for everything, Chris. It's been a real slice. I'm gonna do it here. fun. Okay, I sent it just the way you asked. Thanks for everything, Chris. It's been a real slice. I hope you like that. That's a cute way to do it. I like your suggestion. You're number 16. Okay, Raven. Oh, Raven, this one is for you. You are something. Extraordinary. Oh, this is number 17. There you go, Raven. Are you really tired of people saying, that's so Raven to you? And I just did it. Oh, so sorry. But it's on my mind because I work with Annalisa. Kyle chose. Where do I have that one? Oh, I know. I put it here. I put it here knowing that I would forget that it was over here. Look it. Kyle chose this hodgepodge. It's the hodgepodge compilation album. Susan, uh, Hercules Leading the Tramp 2 are among my all-time faves because of the song. So when I found out that you were doing that, I jumped at the opportunity. Feel free to write anything you like. You're incredible. Thank you, Kyle. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Okay, I designed this to use a white pen, so. So squeaky. All my love to you, Kyle. 
Love Susan Egan. I hope you enjoy it. Oh my goodness. I know I've got just about everybody in there. Yep, Miyazaki, everybody's in there. I love it. Thank you so much. Laura wants the Meg. Are you guys like back at school? My kids are back at school. It's been crazy fall already, even though it's not even fall really. Thank you so much for your amazing for trails. Oh, thank you so much. Meg! Currently listening to I Won't Say I'm in Love. I love it. <laughs> Where can we purchase these? Oh, that's a really good question. I suppose I should tell you. Streamily.com, S-T-R-E-A-M-I-L-Y.com, Streamily. Streamily, look, they gave me these pens. That's our little logo, it's cute. You can go to streamly.com slash Susan Egan, um, and you can find it. You can also go to my, um, a link in my bio on IG and, uh, and find it there as well. Laura, I hope you like this, just for you. Okay, Bethany, she got the classic. This one here, we know what's gonna happen. <laughs> there you go, Bethany. I hope you like it. Oh, this girl, I love. I love myself some Meg. I wish um, I wish I could think of all of her snarky replies in my own life. Of course, I never can until later, right? It's like you're walking away from a situation, and then you can um, then you can think of all the clever things to say. But Meg always thinks of them right then and there. This is for Caleb. To Caleb, be brave and bold. I love that, Caleb. There you go, Caleb. Be brave and bold, okay? I. What is it that the politicians say? I approve this message. I love that, Caleb. Thank you. Darreen? Darreen? D-A-R-I-E-N-E? -E. Am I saying your name right? I really love it, it's beautiful. Just wanna say I'm a big fan of Hercules, one of my favorite movies. Oh. That might mean that you have a little sarcasm in you. When I meet people who like the movie Hercules and Meg, it means they've got a little sass. we go. Number 24. I hope you like it. <laughs> Thank you for your order. Oh, Madison got the OG. Madison. Oh, okay, kids. What do we sign this one in? I think white. I think it's got to be white. The show is so old, we took pictures in black and white back in the day. But I love this picture because I love the expression on Terry's face. Ugh, 
It was a dream working with him, truly. What is the TV show that he's on right now that I'm actually obsessed with, but I can't... Why am I not remembering the name of it? It's not like Horizon. It's like, it's a single word thing. And my Alzheimer's is setting in. Um, but it's unbelievable, and he is unbelievable in it. And he gets to play... It's the same character because he's cloned, but different individuals of that same character. It's kind of amazing. This is for Darnell. I won't say it, no, no. It's too cliche. I won't say I'm in love. Do you guys know all the lyrics that the muses do? Any chance you might do a solo cabaret concert in the future? Um, Craig, no. <laughs> Foundation, thank you, Craig. Terry's show is called Foundation and it is unbelievable. Um, Darnell, I hope you like this. Um, Craig, you are so funny. Uh, I've done plenty of solo cabarets in my life and I think you've been at them. But nope, I'm busy producing the princess show now. Shall we stop and look? Disney Princess the Concert. You can go to DisneyPrincessConcert.com and find all the cities that we're gonna be playing. We've played 60 cities so far. We're doing another 40 this fall. This one's for Chloe. The classic bell for Chloe. Um, so yeah, I'm busy producing that. So I don't know. I did, I did a solo cabaret show last year in Nashville at, uh, TPAC for Studio 10, but I don't think I have it in me to do another one right now. I did one for a special event at, um, Club 33 this past month. Chloe. Um, and I really loved it. We had a great time. Ben and I had a, a blast. Ben Ravala, who just finished two shows in London with Jeremy Jordan. He's so fancy. Both Ben and Jeremy. This is for Jamie. Do you think you could draw something random on it if you have a chance? I appreciate it. Have a good day. Okay, Jamie. I've already ruined another picture today because I literally cannot draw. I can't even play Pictionary. I can't even draw stick figures. That's why I'm so obsessed with animators and why I think really they, they need to get more like a, a huge crazy fan base because they're the true talents in all these animated features. Um, so I don't want to ruin your picture with anything that I might draw other than a heart, which I'll put in there, but I will do this. I'll give you a good sentiment. I gave you a little heart because that's about the extent of what I can do. This is 27. Um, and I know you'll thank me for not drawing on your picture because I'm lame. My sister's a great artist. I mean, I work with great artists, my kids, everybody, but I am just not that per I'm not that girl as you might hear in Wicked. Um, here, where do we go? This one. No special instructions, not to anybody in particular, so I will just sign this. I will say, humans are so funny. Love, Susan. <laughs> 28th. Humans are so funny. I love roses observations. This one is for Allie. Hi, Allie. It's a gift for my wife. Her birthday is the 24th. Oh, we've, oh, we've passed it. And she has loved you on and off Broadway. I just want you to know what you mean to her. Oh my goodness. Well, you are 
a good spouse to get this for Allie. So I'm gonna go, um, Allie, you are a real slice. Allie, you are a real slice. <laughs> and I bet she is. I love it. Happy birthday to her. My sister's also a Leo. Does that make her a Leo? Or is she, maybe, maybe she's not a Leo still. Oh, another one. A belated birthday present for my wife, Allie, who's been a huge fan of yours on a no special instruction, but I want you to know what your career means. So it's another one. So she's getting two. You couldn't decide which picture. There we go. So she was a real slice there, so now she's gonna be a true beauty. Allie. Now there's a theme. There you go. Oh my goodness, this is so great. I wish I knew your name, spouse of Allie. Now she's a real slice in one picture and she's a true beauty in the other. I love that. Happy birthday, Seth. Oh, here we go. I'm stealing the sentiment from our previous guest because I really loved it for this picture. Be brave and bold. I think that really is a great message from Spirited Away. Do you guys know this movie, Spirited Away? I love this film. You know, I hadn't seen the Miyazaki movies when they first approached me about voicing the character of Lynn. That's the character I did. They just wanted somebody kind of streetwise. They wanted the girl who was Meg. So that's how I got the job, which was great. But when they explained it to me about this, you know, 10 year old girl who's working in a bathhouse, I thought, where are social services? But then they sent me the movie in Japanese and then I understood, oh my goodness, Miyazaki is a genius. And that movie was um, nominated for an Academy Award, um, truly deserved it. Here's another picture from that film. There she is, my character Lynn, love it. This is for Chris. Chris. I love the brave and bold because that's really about Sen becoming who she is with kind of a big sister character of Lynn about just go for it. You know, things happen. Just commit, be big, be brave, be bold. I love that. Chris, I hope you like this. Thank you so much for your order. Troy wants this one to Troy. You'll always be my wonder boy. Love Meg. Okay. I don't like to be presumptuous. Sometimes when I get to do this in person with people, I do ask like, is it okay if I call you Wonder Boy? I don't wanna add that quote to somebody who hasn't requested it because you know what? They may not identify as Wonder Boy. They may not want that. Um, so I usually get to ask the question, but Troy has requested it and I love it because it's my favorite thing. Uh, Okay, Troy. You'll always be my wonder boy. Can I call you wonder boy? I think I prefer wonder boy. <laughs> that made me laugh. I love it. Laura, she picked another one of these. Oi, I can't reach. Oh, I'm gonna pull a muscle. The compilation, no special instructions, but it's for Laura. Laura, 
Is this Laura Grief? Maybe? Hi, Laura. sweetness it's good to see you here how is everything going how's the puppy how are the niece how's the niece how's um how are your mom and dad tell them i say hi megarella did you enjoy doing music circus in sacramento i saw you in several shows oh yes i loved it there although i was there in the old days when it was still a tent and it was nine thousand degrees on the inside um and now it's a beautiful, hard venue with air conditioning. So I feel like the kids today don't know what they're missing when I had to do shows in 9,000 degree weather. This is for Liliana. Squeak, squeak, squeak. All right, Liliana, make sure you've got a number back here. There you go, Liliana. I hope you like it. I love the colors in this scene, the whole color palette. I think it's so beautiful. Grace. I almost named my daughter Grace because that was my grandmother's name, but then we named her after my husband's grandmother. So there you go. Grace. It's so quiet right now. The kids are at school. The dog is asleep somewhere. Grace, this is 38. There you go, Grace. Oh, I hope you like it. I wish I could have the Megara doll from Shop Disney. Oh, me too, girlfriend. I, I feel like um, she sold out so fast. I didn't even get one. I love your haircut. Hey, thanks. I cut it myself. I mean, for years I had it cut by somebody who trained at Vidal Sassoon and then I'm just too, you know what COVID did for me? I color and cut my own hair and maybe people are going to look and say, you probably shouldn't, but I'm lazy. I don't like sitting around that long. Um, oh my gosh. Thank you for the drawing of the teacup and lightning bolt. Seriously, you can cover that thing up if you want. Uh, what else? Oh, you have Bell and Meg music in your head as you stream. I love it. Working on a photo book. Wait, I have to go back and read that one. Princess concert. Oh, I love it. If you could swap songs with any other princess, what would you choose? Oh, well, I wish I could sing like all of them. Um, I wish I could sound like them. Like I wish I could sound like Cindy on Shadowland. I wish I could sound like Ariel or Courtney or Izzy on Colors of the Wind, but I just don't. Um, but I think the song that I love the most is Journey to the Past. Crazy, right? Would you sign a DVD of Man of the Century? I would, yeah. Sorry I'm late, I hope I didn't miss anything. You missed nothing. You've been living a full life and now you're gonna waste brain cells on this. Um, what else, should we move it to the next person? We did Grace's. Okay, Gunner wants a real slice. Let's do it, shall we? It's been a real slice. We should just talk about Ken Duncan right now. He's the animator for Meg and all of her sass and body language and snarky expressions, that is all from Ken Duncan, who was completely amazing. Let's make sure, yep, I did that one. Um, Gunner, thank you so much. I hope you like it. Nahel, is that how you pronounce your name? N-A-H-E-L-E, -E. what a gorgeous name. <gasps> and you like rose quartz. Please sign with your favorite quote, I sure will.
Um, I wish I could talk and write at the same time because that must be very boring for all of you. But I don't want to mess up on the photos because I only have as many photos as people ordered. So I don't want to mess up. Um, but I just want to say again, I'm so glad you guys are here. I, for people who weren't here at the beginning, I'm so grateful to Streamily. The <gasps> hell, here you go. I hope you like it. Um, I'm so grateful for companies like Streamily allowing us to, with technology, connect with each other. Um, you know, it was a long COVID. I'm now on tour with Disney Princess the Concert, so we're kind of quarantined and I haven't been able to do Comic Cons for almost three years. Although I am going to D23, but there's no autograph sessions at D23, so I don't really get to meet and greet with people the way that I've always loved doing. And so this is kind of a fun way to do it and it's in real time. You're there, I'm here, you know just sitting in the corner of my house. Um, Carrie, this is for you. You. I have more white pens if we need it. But sometimes they just need a good shake up. There we go, Carrie. You're a true beauty, Carrie. <laughs> so I'm having a great time doing this. I also am always um, really moved by what people choose. Do you know, uh, like which picture they they identify with? Oh my goodness, Michaela, thank you so much. Um, thank you for your lovely comment. And Home is your favorite to sing. Oh, bless, I love that song. I will never, ever get sick of that song. Do you guys see my princess mug that has seen better days? She went through the, she went through the dishwasher. But she still keeps the, you know, the tea hot. So what can you do? I love it. Anyway, I love seeing um, which pictures and which characters people really love um, because it's been an honor to be part of all these projects and I love how they live on in people and how then those people share it with their kids or share it with friends. So I always think that that's pretty great. Okay, I think this is our first one of this one. Look at Hercules is a god and they're all in love. They've said it out loud. This is the happy ending picture. Uh, no instructions, this is for Katie Rose. I just love Meg, and thank you so much for signing. Hercules is my favorite movie. Oh, I love it, okay. Katie Rose. Here you go, Katie Rose. Did I write a number on the back? I did. I always wonder if I have, and then I always have. This is 42. Make sure nothing's smeared. Here you go, Katie Rose. It's been a real slice. I think Meg would say, I think Meg has a different meaning at the end of the movie, right? If she were to say it, than when she said it the first time around. She was being kind of snarky, but now I think she's would be totally legit and say that. By the way, working with Tate Donovan on Hercules was hilarious. He's um, so talented and amazing. And he lives in Austin now, in Texas. Um, but he's just a sweetheart. He's so much like, like Hercules, just a kind soul. This is for Bradley. Oh, spoiler alert. Bradley, just wanted to say thank you for being a part of a show that's near and dear to me. I have Steven University metal band called Cult of Lazuli. Woohoo! I love that. Oh my God, send me a link. I want to hear your music. Um, Bradley, okay. I loved how um, 
on Steven Universe, you might have an episode that's just silly, fun-loving, frolicky, just joy-filled. And then you might have an episode that absolutely like pulls you into tears um, because of how it resonates. It's just that show and the mythology that um, that Rebecca Sugar created with that show and everybody who worked it, just extraordinary. <gasps> Bradley, I hope you like. Yay for your band. Um, I'm still super good friends with Dee Dee. I just, oh, oh, okay. September 16th, we're doing another one of these streamilies. Um, Dee Dee and I will be together and I think they're gonna pull some other cast members uh, from Steven Universe and we're gonna be doing a Steven Universe themed streamly signing so you can check that out. Let's see, it's a quiet village every day like the one before. That's for Madame Mermaid 0724. <laughs> All righty. Oh. Here we go. My other favorite quote is the request for this one. So it's not to anybody in particular, but the quote is, I'm a damsel, I'm in distress, I can handle this. Have a nice day. Okay, let's see. Again, can't walk, talk, and chew gum. Sorry, guys. But I'm a damsel. I'm in distress. I can handle this. Have a nice day. That was the very first scene that I recorded on my first official recording session. So I'm, you know, being carried around by Nessus, the centaur, right? He's a centaur. And, uh, you know, I'm reading the lines, and Ron and John, the director's, um, are like, great, that's great. Can you read this next line like you have a fish down your shirt? And I'm like, um, sure, because every actor, your job is to say yes to everything. Um, but you know, I've never had a fish down my shirt. And I didn't put a fish down my shirt because I'm not a method actress. I just, you know, acted. But that's what I remember from 20 years ago recording that scene. Uh, okay, here's another one with Hercules. This is for Sarah. No special instructions, so I'm gonna do it the way I want to do it. Sarah, it's been a real slice. There we go. Here you go, Sarah. <laughs> Look at the way he's looking at her, right? Am I right? Can you believe the expressions that they can get on the faces, these animators? That was Andreas Deja who, who um, animated Herc. And of course, we talked about Ken, who animated Meg. He's my true hero. This is for I, Matsuno. Yay. Mm. Extraordinary. There you go, I, I hope you like it. Look at her singing. She's just, her soul coming through in that song. I love it. I always wanted to have a duet with Dee Dee on that show, but it didn't happen. This is for Connie. I just want to say that Meg is my favorite Disney character, that your voiceover work is phenomenal as Meg and Rose. Thank you, Connie. And hearing you play Belle with some of the most beautiful and heartfelt singing I've ever heard. Shine on you, crazy diamond. Connie, you got every character in there. I absolutely love it. Well, let's see what you're saying here. Just wanted to say your work has always been stunning. Um, do you ever miss I Can't Believe My Heart being in Hercules? It's a beautiful song. You nailed it. We talked about that a little bit earlier. I do love, love, love that song. And Ben and I do it. Like when I 
Craig. When I do my solo show, we like to juxtapose what Meg's original song was with the song that it ended up being. And while it, you know, I think every audience is like, yeah, it had to be I Won't Say I'm In Love, I still feel like there's this lost song of Alan Menken and David Zippel's and I Can't Believe My Heart that has such beautiful lyrics and a beautiful melody. So I should probably pick that one up and sing it more often. I do really love it. Okay, Connie, this is for you. Um, You guys still doing okay? Here we go. That's for Connie. Number 51. Oh, amazing. Okay. Oh, look at this. Gina. We did one more of Gina's before. This is from Porco Rosso for any latecomers. Um, and this is Gina. She's a lovely businesswoman. She owns this nightclub. She's a singer. What I loved about this movie is that we were translating it from Japanese. Gina is Italian, but she sings in French, but I recorded the movie in English. But I did sing in French. Le ton de Sally's. I don't remember all the lyrics, but it's the time of the cherries, which is like springtime. Anyway, a single rose blooming in a secret garden. Ooh, is that what you want me to write on here? I'm gonna write that. Okay, a single rose blooming in a secret garden. I love it. Let's make sure I've been writing all the numbers. I still have. I'm so worried that I won't write the number on the back, then they don't know who to send it to. Shelby, here you go. Thank you, you were always so kind when I was a student at OSHA and I was thrilled to attend Disney Princess concert with my mom to see you perform with Adam. Okay, hi Shelby, we love an OSHA student, okay. OSHA, for those of you who don't know, is the Orange County School of the Arts. It's in Orange County in Santa Ana, California. Um, I was in the first graduating class back in 1988. Shelby, you were a student. I was artistic director and interim, um, just filling in for one year uh, until they got somebody permanent. Um, gosh, a long time ago now. But another student from OSHA, Adam Levy, is in... Disney Princess the Concert. He's also my business partner and he co-produces that show with me and he is a rock star. And do you know what else? Annalisa Vanderpool, also in Disney Princess the Concert and she's a Disney icon on That's So Raven and Raven's Home. She's also in that concert and she's also an OSHA alum. And on this next leg of the tour, our VIP program, which is the pre-show party and meet and greet and VIP sound check is gonna be run by Rosie McDonald, who was another OSHA student. So yeah, we're just OSHA strong, Shelby. I'm writing, I won't say I'm in love, but honestly, I will say I'm in love with Osha and with all of her students. Oh my gosh, I love it. Shelby, thank you so much. Okay, 53 to Shelby. I love it. Haley is going for the classic Meg. Haley. I love the name Haley. Makes me think of Haley Mills, big Disney star back in the day, even before my time, which I know is shocking that anything would be before my time because I was born with the dinosaurs. Thank you for all the hearts, you guys. 
As someone who struggles to understand people often, I appreciate how clearly you speak and enunciate. Oh, okay. Yes, I think it's because of all the Stephen Sondheim shows I did. I did a show for Steve called Putting It Together and it is all about enunciating those lyrics, right? Um, I feel like sometimes I over enunciate and it makes me sound square when I sing because it's not very pop to enunciate that much. <gasps> Alex, Alex is the first person to order this one, which are the two Miyazaki roles that I've played. We've got Gina, we talked about her. We've got Lynn from Spirited Away, Gina from Porco Rosso. And then look, we put the little Studio Ghibli logo down there. This is for Alex. Oh. There you go, Alex. Be brave and bold. I am stealing that because I just love it. I think that is what Miyazaki is all about. About finding that inner courage and being who you are, standing on your own two feet and just not apologizing. Gabby has chosen this one, Lynn and Sen. I love it. We love the squeaking. There we go. There you go, Gabby. I hope you like it. <gasps> what else, what else? Allie! No, I say Allie, who ordered this but also my dog might come running because her name is Allegra, which means fast and lively, because she's an Australian Shepherd, and she is fast and lively, but we call her Allie for short. here to protect them. There we go. Thank you for that order, Allie. Oh, we got the classic Meg again from Katie. Katie. So what else are you guys doing today? I have a Zoom meeting later today with Aisha Jackson. Do you guys know Aisha? She's a Broadway actress who is extraordinary. Katie, it's for you. Um, and uh, she's gonna jump into the princess concert, Disney princess the concert, um, because while I'm on the US tour, we have a second cast that's gonna be in Kuwait. And so she's going with, with them and uh, I have all of the princess gowns here, we have like over 50 dresses in our princess closet. I literally have a princess closet downstairs in my basement. And um, so we're gonna zoom through and find some dresses for Aisha and I'll send them to her, she'll try them on. The problem with Aisha is that she looks good in everything. So it's gonna be hard to figure out what to put her in. Um, but I'm sure she'll have some ideas and then she'll try things on and it'll be amazing. That's what I get to do after this. My friend Avery, Avery, four years old, met you at Downtown Disney Pandora event. I remember her, oh my gosh. You guys were so kind, she thinks you're besties. She did karaoke on the Disney cruise and requested, I won't say I'm in love by Susan Egan. The DJ was very impressed with her selection. Oh my gosh. Okay, this one is for Avery. And I'm gonna write for Avery something that I have not written for anybody else yet. Avery. You're a big tough girl who can tie her own 
sandals and everything. Avery, you're a big tough girl. You can tie your own sandals and everything. Now, Avery's four. I don't know if she can tie her own sandals, but perhaps this will inspire her to, tie, to try. I'm guessing her sandals are probably Velcro, so, you know. Maybe she can. <laughs> Avery, she's a cutie. Matthew. Matthew's got a pop. Okay, Matthew. are writing. Greetings from Spain. Happy 25th anniversary for Hercules the motion picture. Why, thank you. Hercules is 25, which means Hercules can rent a car. That's a line I stole from Ben Rauhala. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, here you go, Matthew. I hope you like it. Um, yes, Hercules is 25, a quarter of a century. You know, the last time I was at D23 was for Hercules's 20th anniversary, which does not seem five years ago, but obviously it was. But um, but yeah, I think that was the last D23 convention they had. I think this is the first one back um, after COVID. Lynn and Haku are my two all-time favorite movie characters. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad. Belle's my favorite princess. <gasps> Yay, I love her too. Oh, well, good timing. Because Desiree chose this picture. So... Truth be told, I never liked this picture, but it is a lesson in acceptance. I felt like it was a really bad angle, but this is what they put in the front of the theater. This is what they put in the coffee table book. This is what, so I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna embrace it. And then every actress afterwards had to do the same pose. And so I apologize to them, but maybe people liked it. So. I don't know, I just thought, you're looking underneath my chin, like not, I don't know, is that a good angle? Not sure, but at least, at least I painted my nails. So there's that. <laughs> That's for you, Desiree. Okay, ooh, I think this is our first one of this rose picture. <gasps> Here we go. And this is for Elizabeth. Always reach for the stars, I love that. This is such a rose warrior pose. I love it. Aw, I hope Elizabeth likes this. There you go, Elizabeth. That's my sister's name. I love it. Okay, another Meg with Herc. She's showing her big old muscles. She's got no muscles. And this is for nobody in particular, so I'm just gonna say it's been a real slice. There you go. <laughs> Here we go. This is for Megan. Okay, I always love meeting a Megan, another Meg. Right? Meg has always been my favorite from one Meg to another. Thank you, you're amazing. Ah.
I had to go with that. So this one says, from one Meg to another, it's been a real slice. <laughs> Megan, I'm so glad you have a character that's named after you. This is for Jim. And it's another one of these. No special instructions, so I'm just gonna say, Jim. It's been a real slice. Now, see, if I was meeting Jim in person, Jim, are you here? I would have asked if I could call you Wonder Boy, but I don't wanna assume, so I'm not gonna. And that other line is the classic, so. There you go, Jim. I hope you like it. <laughs> oh, here we go. Tamara, one of Meg's biggest fans. Here we go. Tamara. All right, Moira, I won't say I'm in love, except to one of Meg's biggest fans. <laughs> there you go, I hope you like that one. I hope it's okay that I riffed on what you asked me to write, and I wrote more. Wrote a short novel. Let's see, oh Meg. Boy, we're in a Meg frenzy right now. To Reese, here we go, Reese. I'm gonna do this one. There you go, Reese. It's the classic. But look at her expression. She's just kind of like, she can't decide if she likes him or if she's like, thinks he's a joke. I don't know, she's kind of intrigued. She doesn't know how to categorize that herc right off the bat. Louis, oi, this one for you. Louis, are you a Louis or a Louis? I have a Louis who lives in France and so I always think of it as Louis, but it might be Louis. Regardless, I hope you like your picture. Let's see here. Okay, another Megan Hurd to Ash. Ugh, I have so many friends. I've never met an Ashley who I didn't love. Hmm, do I want to do this one in black? I think so. We have so many Ashleys, part of our Disney Princess, the concert tour, our, our um, our PR rep is an Ash. She's the best. There you go, Ash. I hope that you like this one. All right, any more questions? Uh, sent a request to be in your life. Oh, I don't know how to do that. <gasps> People join. Totally have my bell and Meg dolls. Oh my gosh, Schroeder fangirl, I love it. I'm so glad. Oh, now would you sign your comp photo with my real name, Celeste Schroeder Fangirl? Oh no, is this, did you order one of these and then I signed it incorrectly? Is there still an opportunity to purchase items? Yes, okay. So 
you can go to the link in my bio at streamly.com and slash Susan Egan. Um, and you can, you can place an order. I've got everything still, so you can do that. If I sign something incorrectly, I know that they'll send me a correction and then I'll sign it for you. Um, I just don't know which, which order you might be because I don't have like the email addresses associated with these orders or anything. Oh, this one is for Adam. <laughs> birthday was on the 29th in August. A little happy birthday message. Ah. Oh. All right, Adam, here's your birthday message. Happy birthday. I hope this next year is a tale as old as time. Oh, I don't really know what that means, except that I hope it becomes a classic, right? I hope it brings every dream coming true. That's what I think that means. That's what I'm wishing for you. Okay, no special instructions for this pop, but I will just put the Met quote on it, if that's okay. It's been a real slice roller. I just wrote slice. There you go. These paint pens work so great. Look at that. And this is 79. And I'm going to put it right there. Awesome. Another one. This one to Sarah. S-A-R-A. -A. I have a friend named Sarah, S-A-R-A, -A, without the H. I have a friend with the H, too. But my Sarah friend without the H is the producer and writer of the new Game of Thrones prequel series. Has anybody been watching that? I haven't started yet. But... She is an immensely talented woman, so I know it's an extraordinary show. And Sarah, with no H, here's your pop doll. You are number 82. <laughs> I'm gonna put it over here. How are you all doing? You guys still liking my glasses? Hmm? Let's see. Who's your favorite Beauty and the Beast Broadway song? Oh, what is my favorite Beauty and the Beast Broadway song? I, well, okay, it's not a song that I ever did, but it's a song I listened to every night because I would sit up in the library with Terry, who played the Beast, and we would listen to Human again. And that was a song that was written for the animated feature, but not put in it. They cut it out because, you know, this was only their second movie in um, after Little Mermaid, and I think they thought the movies couldn't be very long because children had a short attention span. And so they cut Human again, but really, that's the theme of the whole play. It's what Howard Ashman was trying to establish about what it means to be human and not just human again physically for the enchanted objects, but to be human again in our hearts, right? Which really is a message we could talk about today. Um, and so it seemed ironic that that was the song that they ended up cutting. But the song went over so well in the Broadway show that they finished the animating it and in subsequent releases of Beauty and the Beast, the animated feature, they put it in. And I'm so happy. It makes me feel like Howard Ashman would be very, very happy to know that. Oh, this next one is, for, is a Meg. Meg picture, the classic for Steven. All right, Steven, let's see. I gotta tell you, these white pens are the best. All right, Steven, number 83. That's for you, Mr. Magoo. I hope you like it. Oh, Rose. 
Okay, I want the autograph to not be written on either of the two characters. Okay, such as above them would be fine, or the top right corner, wherever Susan Egan would think it looks best. Okay, but it's not to anybody, so I'm just going to write a little quote, and I am with you. I'm not going to write on the characters. Promise. There you go. And I left some room in case Zach wants to sign someday too. Cause he's, oh my gosh. You know what I was gonna say? I was gonna say, he's a gem. I wasn't even trying to be silly or punny at all, but he is a gem, literally. But then also he's a gem. He's a sweetheart. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy that. Charlotte. Mm. This one's for you, Charlotte. I want to thank Streamily again for making this possible. I never could have figured out how to do this. And they make it so user-friendly. I've got my computer over here. Do you guys see my whole setup? Do you want to see? This is my whole setup. I've got my computer and it's telling me who to sign, what number to put on it. And then I've got all my other things over here. Oh, let's see what this is. Hello, I placed an order for a Lynn picture and wanted it to be signed, Be Brave and Bold Caleb. Oh. Do you think you could write something related to Lynn or you could decide what you want to say? Oh, Caleb, I signed yours and I loved what you wrote so much about be brave and bold that I have used that phrase on every Lynn picture afterwards. So I hope you like it and thank you for the amazing suggestion. So good. This is for Gra right here. Would it be possible to get a Meg quote from Hercules, please? Yes, it would. Um, it's my favorite Disney film as a kid and still to this day one of my most treasured memories is going to the cinema to see it with my family thank you for being part of that oh my gosh I think it's just so special to get to do something for a living that's a part of people's childhoods because I think back on things that were important to me as a kid and um, it still makes me sort of giddy and fluttery when I think back on those things. I know I've been so lucky to meet a lot of people in the industry because of what I do. Either they came to see the show or, you know, I'm at an event that has other people. Like, I mean, I've been lucky to meet, I mean, heroes like Tom Hanks and, you know, um, just Meryl Streep and cool people like that. But the the celebrity that I was the most nervous in front of, God, this is for you, um, where I literally lost my cool and couldn't contain myself and started to cry, <laughs> was when I met Kermit the Frog. Oh my goodness. I was doing an event. I was hosting something and I was hosting it with Kermit the Frog. <laughs> and I go to rehearsal and he's there sitting on the podium. And like, I know there's a guy under the podium manipulating him and using his voice, but I just... I lost it and it's just, it was such a moment where I realized the impact that these these characters and these projects that, um, that children get to see, that The Muppet Show was what I looked forward to all week long growing up. And then to meet Kermit, I just, I, I was immediately like eight years old again, seven, six, five years old. <laughs> and that's how I behaved. So there you go. Um, <laughs> Barbie, she wants the gods. I love it. I would cry too, Amanda says. Oh my God, Kermit, right? I've got to find a picture. You know what? I, I'm going to find it. I'll post it in the next day or so. Um, I have a picture of Kermit kissing my cheek and uh, I'm just, I'm. you can tell that I'm losing my mind in that picture. I'll have to post it. Okay, this is for Barbie. Oh, I don't want to use pink. I want to use white.
There you go. Let's make sure that I did do it. I keep writing the numbers in the back. You guys are seeing me do it, but then I don't trust myself. This is 91. Here you go, Barbie. White pens. I'm telling you, what did we do before these paint pens? Rebecca. Rebecca. She wants this Meg here. So if the print of the picture happens to be the shiny kind, then it goes squeakalicious. <laughs> okay, Rebecca, I hope you like it. Here she is. I put a real slice on that one, even though she's singing the song, I won't say. I'm just, you know, living on the edge, but it just seemed like that was a real slice moment for me. Jordan. Here you go, Jordan. This one's for you. Um, when I walked into my first session to record Meg, you know, there's no animation yet. They just had storyboards, but, um, but they had a little, you know, sketch of Meg doing it. It's been a real slice. And I, Turned to Alice Dewey, who is our producer, by the way, woman, female producer, woohoo, love it. And um, I go, oh my gosh, that's such a coincidence. It's so funny because I, I think I did that in my audition. And then she looked at me and said, yes, Susan, that's where we got the idea. And then I realized, A, I looked like an idiot, but B, also, like they pay attention to what you do physically and they might incorporate it into the animation and Ken really did do that like I I tend to jump my neck out a lot and like you know hey what do you think about this and, and you know he would have her do that which is I don't know kind of cool I wonder if she has to go to a chiropractor too Meg I mean um Craig to Craig a real wonder boy I love that you requested that yes Craig you know what? That one has a little flaw on it, so I'm going to get this one for you, Craig. I think I know which Craig this is. Am I right? Am I right? Fellow Bruin. There you go. I hope you like it. Paul. Paul's going for the muscle. Here we go. I like when I meet guys who like the character of Meg because she's so strong and feisty and um, it says a lot about a guy who likes a strong, feisty girl, right? A little snarky, means they can handle it. And I love that. Oh, we got another Belle picture here. Okay, are you kidding me? This is for Belle and she wants a Belle picture. I mean, I think this is the first time I've ever signed a Belle picture, and I've been signing them for 30 years, for a Belle. I'm so excited. Could you please write one of Belle's lines? Any will do, pick your favorite. Oh, yeah. Mm.
want adventure in the great wide somewhere. Don't we all? Oh. I don't know, sometimes I just wanna stay home. But, Belle, she's number 100. I love that, I hope you like that, Belle. Thank you so much for the order. Sarah Rose, you're back and you ordered a pop. I love it, okay, I'm gonna put a little thing on the back here with a little tape so that we don't ruin the box with my Sharpie because I have to put number 101. There we go. And this is for Sarah Rose. You can just sign your name and add voice of Meg. Ah, so no personification. No, you don't want it personalized to you, Sarah Rose. Are you still there? Let me know. Someone's doing the dishes back there? Yes. Let's take a moment right now because I married Prince Charming and he's doing the dishes. And I'm so grateful that he's doing the dishes because he's that kind of guy and I love him. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Who's it's and what's it's galore? Thank you so much for your sweet comment. I love this color on you. Oh, it's red, but it kind of looks orange in this. Oh, it's not Craig. It was for a different Craig. I love it. Um, okay. Le Monde du Nani. Hello, Susan. Hello to you. Watching your Broadway videos are super inspiring. You make such great friends. Oh, thank you guys so much for these comments. Okay, I was looking for... Thanks again, Susan. Please truly appreciate you. My pleasure. Don't believe me. I was wondering if that was Robert said Craig. <laughs> Can you please follow me? I'm like, yes, I will try and do that later. I can't get out of the live to go follow people yet. All right, so Sarah Rose, I'm assuming that you just want my name and voice of Meg, so I'm gonna follow your directions, especially since I did another personalized photo for you already. So I'm just gonna write, and I'm gonna write the voice of Meg. There you go, Sarah Rose. Okay, voice of Meg. And I'm gonna let her dry over here. Jasmine, that's a true princess name. All right, Jasmine. No special instructions, so I'm just gonna write my typical thing, but I'm gonna personalize it for you, my love. Well, I hope that's okay. Because you didn't say not to. There you go, Jasmine. I know, the pink paint pen. I know, I know you're all screaming because it's so good. Please comment on my pictures. I will try to do that, let's see. Ooh, I checked in just in time to see you do mine. I'm Belle, my mom and I saw you at Disney Princess the Concert in Philly back in April. It was so nice to see you. Oh my gosh, hi Belle, I'm so glad you tuned in in time. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm so glad you saw the concert. Look it, I've got a little sticker on my coffee cup to advertise our concert. We're heading back out on the road in October. Um, I'm doing the first three weeks and then Annalisa Vanderpool's taking over for me. Uh, but then we have Christy Altamar joining the cast. She is Broadway's original, the OG Anastasia. She's amazing. Um, Annalisa Vanderpool, as I said, Cindy Winters, who is Nala on Broadway and the Lion King. And joining our cast, Isabel McCullough, who is Jasmine, both on Broadway and in the West End in London. Ah, and if you're a fan of The Prom, she was in the OG cast of The Prom. She is epic. Oh my gosh, I almost slipped and said something that's secret. She's gonna play another Disney character in a staged version of a musical that I really like um, in the next couple of months. So um, I am currently obsessed with Isabel McCullough. There you go. Carrie, okay, Carrie actually ordered a picture that nobody had ordered before. And so I put them away. Um, where did I put them? They are down here. Okay, but I found them. But I didn't have them out because nobody had ordered this one. So I'm really excited, Carrie. Let me show you what she ordered. Ah, the 
this is Angel right here. That's Scamp, son of Lady and the Tramp. Clever, right? This was from the sequel, Lady and the Tramp 2, um, Scamp's Adventure, and I'm the singing voice of Angel. So while they're having this spaghetti warfare right here, um, I'm actually singing a song that was written by uh, Melissa Manchester, who is amazing. So, um, um, order. I'm so excited that I got to sign one of these today. I mean, look how cute they are. They had to do something with that spaghetti scene, right, in the sequel, and I thought they did a really good job because there's such high expectations. It's such an epic scene. Christian, let me get this one. Hang on. I'm grabbing it. Okay, Christian wants this picture of Belle. Birthday present for myself. Can you write a special birthday message? My birthday was on August 12th. Ooh, my sister's was August 10th. Um, I miss you so much, Susan. Was thrilled to see you in the posse at MJ Pack a few months back. Any updates on the Princess Concert album? Kristen, we're working on it. There's so many rights and rules and things. And we also want to do an album that represents all the different casts that we've had of the show. So Ben is working on it. You know Ben. He's the musical genius. And a lot of it is already in the can. Like, we've already recorded a lot of this. So... I don't know, I'm hoping in the next year or so. All right, so this is for you, my darling. I'm gonna sign it. You'll be my first one that I sign with this beautiful gold pen. Okay, so that took me forever. And now, At Rose. Oh, Mermaid at Heart 21. Rebecca, I love it.
I mean, you have such a history with all of these characters, Rebecca. I absolutely love it. All right, Rebecca, you're a big, tough girl. You can tie your own sandals and everything. Instead of saying, I'm a big, tough girl, I'm saying you're a big, tough girl, because you are. I love it. Amazing. <gasps> That's it. Oh, my goodness, you guys. We did it all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's see. What are all... Do you have a favorite flower? I do. I love hydrangeas and also sunflowers, because my best friend Karen and I... We love sunflowers. We give them to each other a lot. Bye, Chris. Where do I get bell on my glasses? I got these on Etsy about a million years ago. They're my bell readers. I've said this joke before, but for new people on this Zoom, bell readers get it because she's a reader. What else? Any last questions? Stunning bell portrait. Thank you. I was younger. I would absolutely love to meet you sometime, Susan. You're amazing. Oh, thank you. I can't wait to meet you too someday too. Benji. Let's see. Ah, oh, that print is so cute. I was debating between that print and the, oh yes, I know some of these are hard to choose from. Hello from France. Please have a cameo in the live. I don't know, background at least. Let's see, maybe have a cameo in the live, oh, live action. Oh, a cameo in the live action Hercules. I would love that. Uh, love, love your solo album. Used to listen to Nina Doesn't Care on repeat. Oh my gosh, you guys. Check out Nina Doesn't Care. I wrote that when Nina was, was little, and it really is what it is like to be a mom. Will you be going to Indianapolis? I'm not going to Indianapolis. Um, November 12th, I will not be in the tour on November 12th. I'm there till November 9th through Orlando. Actually, I think through Sarasota, it's the next day. Um, and then Annalisa Vanderpool steps in, and she's an epic um, woman. I love her to death. And, uh, and she was Broadway's final bell, and she sings glorious notes in that bell medley. So you guys are gonna totally love her. And she gets the prettiest yellow dress. I like her yellow dress better than my yellow dress. You guys, thank you so, so, so much. Come see Disney Princess the Concert. Go to DisneyPrincessConcert.com. Um, you can go to streamily.com slash Susan Egan if you want to take a look at any of these other items. Thank you for to Streamily for doing all of this. And thank you guys so much for coming today. I really appreciate it. I will post this later. Okay. Bye guys.